All right, kiddos, so this video is going to serve as our uh, Algebra 2, Unit 2, Day 2 lesson video. This is the first of two videos that I've got on here. Um, this video is just a, we're just briefly talking about uh, what square root functions are, right? So let's get into that. So we've got a little activity for us to go through here to kind of figure out what they are. But first, let's answer this EQ here. Maybe I should write in a color that's going to be visible. So what is a square root function? Well, a square root function are these, well, these right here that I circled in green. Okay, so any square root function is a function of x wherein we're taking the square root of that function of x. Okay, so this would be our parent function, the simplest possible square root function. Okay. So getting into EQ2, well, what's special about them? What are their, what are their uh, attributes, right? So here we're prompted to graph some things. So first we're asked to graph Y of X. So let's do that. So we know Y of X is just a 45 degree angle diagonal line like this. So it's a linear equation with a slope of just one. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so there is y equals x. Okay, then we're asked uh, to graph f of x, right? So f of x uh, is going to be this guy here, and it's going to look like a sideways parabola, right? And obviously, we can use our calculator, uh, run the control t function on a graph. So let's go ahead and do that and see what that's going to look like. So I go ahead and type in um, control x squared square root of x. Okay, so it looks like a sideways parabola. And when I do the control T function, there's T. Okay, so we see, obviously we know that when X is zero, so if I go up, when X is zero, Y is zero. When X is one, Y is one. So let's go ahead and plot those points. Okay, bring this back up here. When X is four, Y is two. So four by two, nine by three, so four by two, uh, nine by three. And let's see if we can squeeze another one on there just for funsies. 16 by four, right? So that's not gonna fit there, okay? And we could have just used common sense to graph that because we're just taking the square root of whatever X is, right? But there's F of X. Okay, and let me just color code a little bit better here. All right, so then we have, uh, we're talking about F's domain and range, right? And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same color here. So our domain and range, if we look here, well, where do we start on the left? What are the possibilities of the X values going from left to right? Well, we see we begin here at zero and we end uh, at positive infinity. So our domain, quite simply, uh, is just from zero, if I'm using parenthetical notation, to infinity, right? Our range uh, is going to be likewise zero to infinity, okay? Because range, domain, same thing, except range, of course, applies to dimension y. So what are the possibilities of y? We see we start here at y is zero, and we continue on and on and on upwards uh, to infinity, right? So there's our domain and range. Okay, so now let's get into g of x here. And actually still no. I keep thinking that the next one is going to be g of x, but it's something else. So our x and y intercepts. Okay, so our x and y intercepts are both happening here at the origin, at least for the parent function. Okay, and algebraically we know x-intercepts, where do they happen? They happen where y is zero, right? So if I plug in a zero for this, well, of course, I'm going to get zero, right? If I plug in a zero for x, right? So I say f equals the square root of x instead, well, then I'm going to get f equals zero. So we see our y and x-intercepts are both at zero. Okay. And now let's look at G. Okay, so we're asked to graph G now. 
So let's get out of this. So control T, I'm gonna hit tab, control delete. No, maybe not. There we go. Control delete. Okay. I have no idea what the calculator took as an interpretation for that. It's being really weird. Okay. Anyway, so now let's do x squared. And, well, we know what that's going to look like. Okay, so when we do the control T function, we easily can just plot the points here. So when X is 1, Y is 1. Likewise with negative 1, when X is 2, Y is 4. Likewise with negative 2, when X is 3, Y is 9, and so on. So we know we're going to look like this. Nice cute parabola. And we see uh, this inherent symmetry right here about the line y equals x. So that proves, obviously, that g of x here and f of x are obviously inverses. Okay, f and g are inverses. Okay, and that makes sense. What's the inverse of a square, a square root, right? Okay, it also makes sense because what's the domain and range uh, of G? Well, the domain and range of G is going to be 0 to infinity. Now, this is where it gets different. And actually, the domain is going to be negative infinity to infinity. And the range is 0 to infinity. Okay. Now, we'll get more heavily into the whole inverses thing uh, later on. But main thing that we want to take away from this is that a square root function is quite literally a sideways half parabola. Okay. So that's all I'm going to get into on this video. Uh, not a whole lot to discuss here. Pretty simple stuff. Um, like always, let me know. If you need anything, shoot me an email. You know where to find me. Goodbye.